What's up guys, Corvus95 here and welcome to the final episode of this week's Anything Goes Tiered Balls on Pokemon Showdown. I'm going to spoil what the current results are for this week, so if you haven't seen the previous episodes, go watch them now. And our current record for this week is amazing, it's 8 and 0. Oh. We haven't lost a ball this week, which means we're inevitably going to win this. Oh, we're going to lose two balls today. Now, I did a little bit of... I do some battling in my spare time when I'm not recording the episodes. And I'm just going to say now, if I come up against a 6 Klefki team, I'm not including that ball in the streak at all. Because I came up against 3, and I beat one of them and lost against 2 of them. It's just so annoying. One of the bells took over an hour to complete. Uh, it was, I, I, I couldn't believe it. But I just would, I refuse to forfeit. So anyway, let's get on with ball number one. And hopefully we don't get matched up against the normal Klefki team. Because it's not going to make good viewing. Hopefully we can find someone to ball. Of course, the team is on the right-hand side of the screen. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes. I'm really thinking about In Anything Goes, always running at own tempo Pokemon. Oh, this is an interesting team. A full shiny team. And... The quiz is not a good lead because of the Articuno. Xerneas is decent apart from the Lucario. Let's go Xerneas. Nice. And let's go for the Moonblast. Pretty obvious, but he may not switch out. He has three possible Megas along the bottom row there. He may be worried that I'm going to set up, and that's why he stayed in. No I'm choice. He doesn't know that at this point. Because I believe Xerneas outspeeds Latios. Or Latius. Let's go out into ho at this point. And it's a regular Lucario. We'll go for the flamethrower. Umbreon comes in. That did very, very little. Hmm. Is he going to Toxic Storm me? Oh, that would have been perfect for that Pursuit. Hmm. Do I predict the God of War? Articuno comes in. Sacred Sword is a 2 hit KO. I don't outspeed, but I can take an Ice type move. Goes for the Mind Reader. Is he running Shia Cold? Oh, I kind of want to see that now. This comes in and takes out Terrakion, unfortunately. Hmm. I think at this point we go Mega Rayquaza. And we go for the EQ. Take out the Lucario. So this is Mega Gardevoir. He gets Delta Stream. We can go out into our... Xerneas? I don't really want Xerneas taking a hyper voice. Let's go into Kyogre. Hyper voice is a crit, which means I'm going down. Which sucks. It really sucks that I went down to that, but let's get Xerneas out, because Kyog Primal Kyogre is so strong. Flash Cannon isn't a two-hit KO. How is, how is Hyper Voice so strong? 
It is a two-way kill because we got min-max damage there. Espeon comes in. We will let Xerneas go down. So, good play. They forfeit. And we wrap up our ninth victory for the week. Let's go on to ball number 10 for the week. Ball number 2 for this episode. Hopefully we can run into a bell pretty quick. And finally, finally in our final battle, we get a all Uber's opponent. Right. Well, we are going to go... I think either Groudon, Darkrai, or Mewtwo is leading. And against those... I'd say Rayquaz is the best, but I think Xerneas probably is. Probably is. It is the Darkrai, which is nice for me. We can go for the Moonblast. Take out the Darkrai. I was expecting to outspeed me there. And go for a... So the Kangaskhan comes in now. Is it going for the Fake Out? Hmm... If I go out on the Giratina, then the Groudon's definitely coming in. Big Owl was too, too obvious there, mate. Okay, so... Is the Will-O-Wisp too obvious? Apparently not. Now we can... Hmm, what comes in? He forfeits. We're not counting that ball. Let's get a new ball. Another good team. Nice. I'm happy to see these new good teams. <laughs> Genesec could easily lead. So could Smeagol. So could Arceus. Let's lead... Mega Quasar. Because of this. Exactly because of this thing. And let's go for straight up a Dragon Ascent. It's gonna try and put us to sleep. Try to put us to sleep. That's why I have a Lumberry. Of course he gets the aviation boost. I swear if that had missed because of his boost to evasion, I would have gone insane. Um, Xerneas, Xerneas, Xerneas. Hello Mega Rayquaza. Goes for the D-Dance, which means he may outspeed me now. He does. Dragon Sun takes me out. That's the real problem. Hmm. My Mega Requiz is the only thing I think can deal with him. Nothing can deal with him. I needed to let something die and then go out into. Mega Rayquaza there. I guess we go out in the hole. Is Ho or our physical? No, it's our special wall. That was a mistake. How d Oh, it's not very effective because of this stupid thing. Oh. That was a misplay. Burn him. Okay, Giratina. Get off a hex, it'll kill. You live. And you kill him. Thank you, Giratina. I should have done that without sacking off Hall. Looks like we're going to go with first loss of the week. Against a neutral Arceus. Let's go for the pain split. Now let's Willow. Does get the Shadow Claw off, which is nice for him. 
Takes a lot of damage though. 372, I have nothing even near to that. Let's go to Rakion. And let's go, based on the rest of his team, EQ is the best player. Oh, why is every Pokemon on his team so good? So, so good. Well, let's go for the Ice Beam. Extreme Speed takes us out. Good game to my opponent. And we finish the week. Nine victories and one defeat. Unfortunately, that final battle, that Mega Equaza, just put in so much work. And I suppose that's why you go with Dragon Dance Mega Requaza over for Tuck Mega Requaza. So, a bit of a... We're back over the 10 minute mark, guys. I know the last couple of episodes have fallen below that. Which I try and keep them at least 10 minutes. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like on the episode. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And from me, Corvus95, thank you guys so much for watching. We have PU coming next week. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.